All right, everybody, we're going to be looking at a very popular way to get students together and to gather assignments from them and have discussions, and that's called Google Classroom. Um, this is probably the most simple free way to make all that happen. So let's get to it. So one of the first things that students need to know is how to get to Google Classroom and maybe even teachers. So I just like classroom.google.com. You can bookmark it and, you know, that's, that's an easy way to do it. You can also click, you know, if you're a Google person, click the waffle here and classroom may be in there, but that's the easy way. Classroom.google.com. You get in and the teacher needs to make a class. So right now here's some of the classes I have made. Students will see all the classes they're invited to right here as well. They'll see this if they are in someone's class. So I'm going to make a new class, the plus sign. That's also where students go to join a class, but they should see it here too. I'll, I'll get there. So let's create a class. We'll call it buff class. Now you can also you know create a few of these. You have teach multiple periods, buff class period one, period two. Let's keep it simple. We're very patient while it makes our class. Anybody know any good jokes? Here we go. Uh, first thing is this is where the kids see what they see automatically when they come in. This is the stream. This is kind of like old school terminology is like a Facebook wall. This is where all the little things pop up they're supposed to be doing. So share something with your class. I like just welcoming people. Welcome. You know, say something nice. Maybe watch a cat video. There's an add button here. You can add all kinds of things from your drive, uh, YouTube file links. Um, under the post option, let me move my face. You can have things prepped, make drafts. You can schedule things, and then you can actually just post it automatically. For those who teach multiple classes, right here, you could assign this to all periods. If you want, you can go, bam, I want that one, that one, that one, that one. All those classes will get this post. So let me get out of that. And what if you work with some students who need extra help? Um, so you can actually assign this to, you know, instead of all students, send it to a few students. And you'll see this grow as students join your class. So that is the stream. That's how you make announcements and things. Get kids to talk too. They can actually make, uh, you can have a discussion, students comment on it. Now classwork, this will actually give an assignment. So you can create an assignment. Lots of options here. I just want to get you started, just basics. Let's do the basics. So right here, maybe it's a slideshow. You know, create slideshow. Create slideshow. Give them more directions, of course, than that. Uh, create. And you say slideshow. Bam, it's going to make one. Right there. All right. Um, and you can when you make that slideshow, you can actually, so that's the teacher. The teacher can make a template, the one that just popped up, and you can make a copy for everybody. That's super fun. So maybe you, you give them the directions on the slideshow. Just try it out. Get in there. Um, you can also tell them, you know, how is it going to be graded? Um, you know, is this going to be a rubric? This stuff over here is optional. I guess this stuff over here is optional. This stuff right here. So don't feel like you have to do that. For those who are being thrown into this due to, you know, coronavirus or something else, you know, just keep it as simple as possible. Let's just get students turning in things using Google Classroom. So I'm going to say that's good. I'm going to get out of that. That's your assignments. People, this is one of the most important parts. How do you add students? Well, you can give them a code. There's a code right here. Or you just add them manually. Type, type, start typing your students' e email addresses in there or their names. If your district is already a Google district, if you start typing their names, they'll probably just automatically pop up. And as you invite them, they will eventually get an invite. When they go to classroom, they'll see that they got an invite from you. They accept it, and they're in your class. So that's how you invite your students. I'm going to cancel that. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the very, very basics of getting started with Google Classroom. Hey, just jump in. Try it out. Maybe grab a student, um, just kind of test things out. Maybe a, bus, maybe a parent that you know that you guys are friends with to help you feel, you know, feel good about it. And let me know if you have any questions.